Today we are with uh, uh, Albert Green. Albert is the head grower at Jefferies Greenhouses here in uh, St. Catherine, Ontario. Uh, Albert is really passionate about uh, pest management and biocontrol and uh, he's been writing a lot of articles in uh, Grower Talks, for example, on this topic. So, um, hello uh, Albert, hello. how are you doing? Good. So, can you, um, like I did a quick description, but there must be a lot more to say about you. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and all what you, like all what you're passionate with about biocontrol? Well, so when I came into this industry, I, I actually didn't do that by choice. I uh, just didn't have the money to go to university and I had to find a job and I happened to end up in a greenhouse. That's where I started working in the greenhouse industry. And in the beginning, I was not convinced that it was a good choice. In fact, the first three or four years that I worked in the industry, I hated my job. And um, then in trade school, I was very fortunate. And trade school is a little bit like you know, community college here, it's about the same, same thing. Mm -hmm. It's just that you work and you go yeah. to college at the same time. So um, we had, um, we had a teacher that used to work for one of the large chemical companies. And this teacher's job was to research the impacts of pesticides on natural predators. And he taught a class on pest management. And he brought in these little red spiders and I put one on my hand and he pointed there and he says and looked at me and he said this is the future of pest control and that was uh, Phytosulus persimilis and so this was in 1983 so it's a long time ago and I've been fascinated by biological control since that time and um, when I came to Canada that was about five years later I, um, I worked for one of the first companies in Quebec that it was one of the first companies that did any biocontrol in uh, in Canada and we failed absolutely miserably it was a disaster but we did learn all of us did learn a lot there we really learned a lot about what not to do which is almost more important than learning what to do and then we just continued we um, I, I moved to Ontario I started working in ornamentals the place in Quebec was vegetables, but I started to work in ornamentals and uh, everybody told me that I was nuts trying to do biocontrol in ornamentals in the early 1990s, right? And it was, we didn't have fantastic successes, but there was a few success stories in between there and that, uh, that just meant that we kept going. And then in, uh, in the early 2000s, we expanded it. I had at that time I started working for Jeffries. Uh, we first dabbled a little bit in thrip control in Cyclone, and then uh, we had Q biotype whitefly, and that hit our poinsettia crop, and we lost, uh, I would think, about an acre worth of product that we had to dump because we could not kill the whitefly. It does not matter what we did, we couldn't kill the whitefly. And this company has been pretty steady year on biocontrol. Our poinsettias haven't been sprayed since 2005 at all with insecticides. So that is uh, that has worked very well. And we have expanded it gradually on the rest of the of the crop. So we are running year on. We're not pesticide free by any means, but uh, it's uh, it's working reasonably well. Okay, yeah, that's, we see how you ramp up from trials to uh, the whole company. On biocontrol, that's mm. interesting. And um, so, how do you make it work, like within the, the company? Uh, how do you train and uh, transmit the knowledge to your teammates to make it work in, in your in your company? Mm. Uh, that's a that's a big and difficult issue. Um, I think the challenge for us at Jeffries here, as, uh, as well as for anybody else out in the industry, is that a lot of the, the knowledge that flows into a biocontrol program uh, is experience-based. So I, I should say that you can really not, um, you, you can have somebody come in and help you develop your biocontrol system. You can, you almost have to exchange information with other people but you must have all that in-house knowledge because only the grower knows his or her crop. Mm. 
um, that Gore has to make decisions on 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 biocontrol, just as he does mm -hmm. on on whatever else has to be done with the crop, and um, so that uh, whoever is doing that needs that experience. Now, what what is experience? Well, it's experience in our job. It's really repeating what worked and not repeating what does not work, which means that if you want to gain experience, you have to come across situations that did not work. And when it is pest control, especially biocontrol, you have to have um, experiences where things go really terribly wrong. And if you do not have those experiences, then you, you, you don't see, you're not going to be able to see the very, very early developments of pest infestation that is going to turn serious. You kind of have to know the science before mm -hmm. anybody else sees that. And that may, means that you have to make the mistakes, you have to make all the mistakes that, you know, us older generation have made. But in, in, in today's, uh, you know, we, we wouldn't be allowed to do the things anymore or to, to, to make the mistakes that we did 30 years ago. Uh, it, it would not be good. It's not economically possible anymore. We cannot lose crops. So the challenge with educating growers is, is to find ways of letting them, you know, learn those things by experience without having the very, very serious damage. and. I mean, I, I don't have, uh, I don't have, have a good overlook, answer. You have to overlook what's happening with your growers and just be but behind I mean, them as a, as a backup or... I, I mean, yes, that absolutely, right? I'm, I'm, I have to be there, I have to, uh, I have to be a resource, but um, also the, our growers here, and I, I joke with them, they have not really seen what happens when a pest goes bad. Right. When you, because when you it's a clean place in terms of pest management. Right? Well, the, 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 the growers don't always yeah. think it, right? Because they find <laughs> they find aphids here or there, a white fly, and then we have a, a you know a poinsettia leaf with five white fly on there, and everybody gets excited. And um, so they this which is which is a good thing. We find those five white fly, but it is difficult because um, the seriousness of something that that is going wrong. Uh, you, you, you almost have to one time in your life feel that pressure in order to be able to have the guts to make the right decision, mm -hmm. especially if the decision is difficult. And, um, and that's very, very difficult to convey. I mean, we, we had situations, I had, uh, I had a situation where uh, we had so much white fly in the crop that uh, you couldn't breathe in there anymore. You needed masks because you were breathing white fly corpses all the time. Um, it's the same thing with spider mite. I mean, um, spider mite is the easiest thing to control with biologicals. And so our growers here, they have really, they have seen maybe five plants with spider mite. They don't know how bad it can get unless they have been in a yeah. place where there were spider mite infestations. Yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, that's a long process to transmit that knowledge and make sure that the mistake, like you got to exp explain with your experience and all the big issues that you have and then I tell tell the people that how we, what happened and how it how you solved it and mm -hmm. what were the reason for that problem and everything so and i mean we, we can't do that in a vacuum right because uh it this this has to be education in that sense for yeah. growers has to be an industry effort we we, we, we need to share information with other members of the industry, with other greenhouses, but uh, the, the other greenhouses, they have to, we, we have to collectively work on getting that knowledge yeah. across to the next generation. Because if we don't work together on that, it's not going to happen. There is, um, and, and we, we really don't have enough players at the moment that take this, this experience gathering, mm -hmm. uh, for lack of a better word, that, that take this experience gathering really serious enough to to really bring, um, give people the chance to experience all of the things that they have to experience to become an experienced yeah. grower, right? Yeah. Okay, um, that was uh, very interesting to know what's involved in training in, uh, in pest management. Uh, Albert, if somebody wants to reach you, uh, what would be the best way? Uh, your email, your phone number? My email. Okay. Albert G, A-L-B-E-R-T-G, 
at jefferiesgreenhouses.com. That's J-E-F-F-E-R-Y-S greenhouses, plural, dot com. Okay. Thank you very much, Albert. And You're welcome. Have a great day. Thank Bye. you.